Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to associate a GWiz door closing effort tool, as well as modify the models and parameters within the GWiz uh, using LMI's wireless utility software. Uh, before we begin to open the software, though, make sure that you have the GWiz in setup mode and the MicroRidge Mobile Collect base connected to your computer. Um, we open up the software, we'll click on the Find Base Unit button down at the bottom. You'll see a message saying a COM port was found and is now active if you do have the base actually connected. Uh, it's very important that you do. Without it, there's no communication between the software, the hardware, and the gauge. Um, <clears throat> so with the gauge in setup mode, we're going to push the center button, and you'll see that the gauge is not associated. And you will get a little pop-up menu there that says uh, the steps that you'll have to follow. Basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to click on the Associate Gauge button. We'll wait for this next pop-up to appear. We'll click on OK. <clears throat> and we're going to push the button on the gauge itself, the center button again. And if it's associated correctly, you'll see that the gauge ID will appear on the first line of the grid, um, which I'm circling right here. If we double click on this, um, this will allow us to enter the gauge edit mode. Uh, we'll click on this little pop up here to get rid of it. OK. And now we wait. Now it takes a little bit of time for this to load. Um, and you'll notice down here that you have the status bar. So uh, just be patient while it loads. Okay, and once this loads, you'll basically see there's two different sections to the screen. There's the gauge configurations part with the blue background here. And then below that, you'll have the model information. So the top part is going to be used to set up gauge parameters that are specific to the gauge. The bottom section here is going to be the models that are contained within the gauge. So let's go ahead and click on the load models button here. Now what this is doing is it's pulling the information from the gauge and it's importing it into the software so we can edit it, um, take a look at what we have in there so far, m make any changes if we need to. So while this is loading, there are 10 different models within the GWiz and each model can consist of five doors. Um, you'll notice in the description column over here that you are able to have a four character maximum name for each different door. Um, you can select what model that door appears in, whether or not it is active or inactive in the part file, um, what order you will take the measurement in. Um, you have your lower specs and your upper specs. And these are what determine whether a door is considered good or bad. And then to the right of that, we have mass, center of mass. And if we scroll a little bit further, we will see kill points and time constant. Now, these last four columns are used for force and work measurements. So if you're going to be using those, uh, be sure to consult the manual as it goes into a lot greater detail about what each one of those entails. Um, so let's say that we've made all the changes that we want to make to this part file. Um, and we're ready to get this information back into the GWiz. So click on the Update Models button over on the right-hand side. It's going to ask us if we want to update the GWiz program structure. Click on OK. And then we wait. And while it's doing this, um, what's happening is it's writing all of the models and all of the changes that we've made back into the GWiz.
So as it finishes, um, you'll see this little window pop up that says uh, program update complete. Please exit screen to commit changes. So in order to commit those changes, what we need to do is we will go up here and click on the red X in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Now, if you're looking at your gauge, you're going to notice that uh, what was once the flashing green LED now becomes the flashing red LED. This lets you know that the program was um, successful in committing to the GWIZ. So with that, um, you can go ahead and begin to take door measurements.